Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are all of the ebooks that I downloaded last month in June. I love doing ebook hauls. So yeah, here are all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month. Let's get into this. First, we're gonna start with the two books that were sent to me as ARCs or advanced reader copies. First is Devil's Deal by Layla Faye. If you didn't know, I love Layla Faye. She writes all of the monster romances that I am like obsessed with. They're so fun. Um, so this is like her longest book yet. It's like 600 pages. We have like a monster hero, like devil demon dude. And um, our heroine who I think is like a witch, it's giving like Slavic fairy tale vibes. And yeah, it's really long. I'm like a few chapters into it. It's taking me a little bit, but yeah, I'm on her arc team. So I get her books early, but I do know this is really dark. Like this is one of her darkest books yet, or so she's told me. So I can't wait. Um, I love like dark romantic -y books. You don't get a lot of them, especially with like monster books. So I'm really excited for this. Next is How the Wallflower Wins a Duke by Lucy Morris. So I love Lucy Morris. She writes a lot of historical romances. I think that's only what she writes. And she sends me every single one of her books. She is so stinking sweet. She just sends me advanced copies of her books. And so I love her. This one looks really good. It's the first book I think that she's written that's not Viking in nature as I can tell. So I'm also looking forward to that. I love her books. Like they're my favorite Viking romances, but I'm also excited to read something new from her. I love wallflowers and historicals. I love dukes and historicals. So I feel like this is a recipe for an amazing time. We're gonna go on to my Kindle Unlimited checkouts. I didn't really download that much off of Kindle Unlimited this month. First is Sunshine Kisses by Kelly L. Clark. I saw my friend Aspasia talk about this book on her Instagram story. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks really good. This is a childhood friends to lovers romance. So this one is about Abigail and Eric. They have been constant companions since they were born two weeks apart 25 years ago. Then they have to spend a week in close proximity of a holiday with their respective and ever so slightly meddling families. The connection that has always existed between them begins to heat up. But as the tension between them reaches boiling point, will ghosts from their long history threaten to tear them apart? I'm really excited for this. Asuasha was like loving it and I trust her. So I need this. Next I have Perfect Matcha by Erin McClellan. This was our buddy read for the novellathon that we did last month in June. We did a pride theme and so this is an MM romance that I really enjoyed. I've already read this one. This is a friends to lovers romance and yeah it's really good. I really recommend it. That's all I really want to say. I can't really say anything else. I don't want to spoil it but it's a fun little quick novella. I love Erin McClellan's books. The last one that I downloaded off of Kindle Limited is His Tesoro by Amelia Rossi. This is an arranged marriage age gap mafia romance with disability representation. I think our heroine is a wheelchair user and she has EDS, which is a chronic illness similar to my own. I'm dying to read this. I'm chomping at the bit for it. Um, I've heard amazing things from my friends who read arcs of this, so I need to read it like now. Mm -hmm. I need to just, I need to get to it. All the rest of these books I ended up downloading for free. We did have a Stuff Your Kindle Day one day this month, which I didn't buy all that many books, honestly, which were for free though. But yeah, let's get into these. So first is Return to Saltaire by Hazel Jacks. And also I will tell y'all if this, these books are still free, by the way, I'll make sure to tell you. Um, This one's about Reagan and Penn. And I think the only reason why I downloaded this is because I think this has chronic illness representation. That's all I really know. And I think the heroine is like about to marry somebody else and the hero like wants her or something like that. I mean, it sounds angsty. I got Collided by Portia Moore. This is still available to download for free. This is apparently a steamy friends to lovers romance. I just see friends to lovers and I'm like, yes. Once I thought I found the one, he was rich, handsome and irresistible, but there was a catch. He had a wife. That betrayal left me scarred and weary of love. I've sworn off romance, or at least I'm supposed to have be done with it. Then along came Alex, the sizzling hot bartender who not only becomes my friend, but my confidant and biggest supporter. Did I mention he's dropped dead gorgeous with a body that can make anyone swoon? I've built walls around my heart, but when he smiles at me, my pulse races and my body yearns for his touch. Maybe just maybe I can convince my heart to take another chance, even if it means risking everything. I love a good bartender hero. They're really fun. Next is The Donor by Brenda Rothert. Rothert, this is still available to download for free. This is apparently a hockey romance. It looks like our heroine wants the hero's swimmers, if you know what I mean. Um, and he is a pro hockey player. He ends up actually giving his sample to Shelby Grant. And after his donation, she doesn't want like anything to do with him anymore. But he cannot seem to stay away. As her belly grows, the more he gets to know the tightly wound mom-to-be and he gets attached. But once Shelby gives birth to his child, all bets are off. Whether he planned for it or not, he has a family now and he's not going to let it go without a fight. I love like pregnancy romances, so that's great. I saw a Grace Calloway book. 
I didn't really read the summary I just saw was Grace Calloway book. This is The Duke Who Knew Too Much by Grace Calloway. I think she's a really good historical romance author, or so I've heard. This is still available to download for free. This is apparently a steamy enemies to lovers historical romance, and that's the first in a series. I love the tagline. It says, he's a rake accused of murder. She's the spinster accusing him. Enemies make the hottest lovers. Honey and Pepper by A.J. Demas is next. This is a standalone MM romance and set in an imaginary ancient world. So it kind of looks like ancient Rome. So like, but the author's gonna like do whatever she wants, which sounds so fun. Like, I love that. Kind of reminds me of like Bridgerton. Like, let them do what they want with like a historical setting, make it their own. Angel's Mask by Jessica Mason is next. I only downloaded this because I saw that it was a Phantom of the Opera retelling and I love Phantom so that's it. <laughs> Get the Off My Lawn by Daria Vernon is next. I've seen this book on booktube before. I think Christy really likes this one. All I know is that it's kind of like historical and she has like a pet goose or something. Sounds fun. Another fun looking one is Bound to the Orc Ranger by Krista Luna. This is a steamy monster fantasy novella and it features a daring orc warrior who falls hard and a heroine who is ready to realize her dreams. A wish whisks me away to fairy where I have magic and a married at first sight orc husband. I love, I love that. <laughs> Freaks of Honor by Holly Dunwall is next. This is a sapphic fantasy romance, okay? Two wardens gather their strength and a princess guards her heart. We follow Maven and Bryce Blackwood, a father and daughter on their journey to redeem their guild and their tarnished family name, The Catch. They need to escort the king's estranged daughter back to the capital city for reasons unknown. Nothing more nothing less. But with growing feelings beginning to bloom between the two girls, tainted blood slowly boiling and a steady unease arising in Nero's citizens. This will not be a standard escort mission for the two warriors. I love that. You don't get to see sapphic fantasy romances like ever. Lunaria by Cara Douglas is next. This is apparently the first book in the Unraveled Fate series, which is a romantic fantasy series that follows Lou, a strong, sassy, and independent female character in the fight for her freedom. This epic tale of enemies to lovers and found family is perfect for fans of high stakes, slow burn romances, worn kingdoms, hidden magic, witty banter, and romantic tension. Say less. I think the four books are all revolving the same like couple. Again, I love that. Space for More by Emily Antoinette is next. Uh, Tiffany actually got me onto this book. We we maybe might pick it for a, a read, a buddy read of ours, or a book club book, but she was like hyping this book up. This is an FFM alien romance, which super fun. Nailing the Alien by Ava Ross is next, which is a grouchy sunshine faded mate romance. I love Ava Ross's books. They're really fun alien romances. So I just saw her name and got it because it was free. This is about a grouchy orc who meets his fated mate who is a smart mouth earthling who gives it back as fast as he deals it out. <laughs> I downloaded this one during one of our, I think our reading sprints um, for our Beam Me Up book club. One of our, one of our lovely viewers commented that she is currently reading this book and got it for free on Stuff Your Kindle Day and it was still free when we were talking. This is Lady Beast's Bridegroom, which she said that this is a historical Beauty and the Beast retelling, but the heroine is the beast. Just say less, like it, like Tiffany and I immediately downloaded it like right then and there. And there you have it. Those are all the eBooks I ended up downloading last month. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a crown emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.